Good, good morning. It is early for me to be on here, <laughs> but that is, um, that's quite all right. Good morning, uh, and thank you for joining me. I know it's really early, um, but that's okay. It is um, all right. Um, in case you hadn't heard, because I hadn't heard, uh, first let me just say this. Hello. Hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. In case you all had not heard, hello. Uh, the world's largest single dish radio telescope collapsed. It's in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Um, let me see. Um, let's see again, again where it's where it said that it's uh, was um, mm, it was built in let's see if I've got this right it was completed in 1963 uh, it was the world's largest singer single aperture telescope according to um, Wikipedia we can look at it right here uh, it was also known as the National Astronomy and Ionosphere Center in uh, Puerto Rico um, so, oh my goodness, it was 500 meter aperture spherical telescope right here. This is kind of what it looked like. We can see it right here back in 1963. Um, it surpassed uh, China's. Now that's China's right here. It surpassed China's for 53 years. It was the world's largest uh, surpassed in July 2016. Oh no, China's China surpassed it in 2016. This is China's. They've got the world's largest uh, aperture spherical radio telescope in the world. Um, but if you're just tuning in, let me just put this back here on the screen. This um, this telescope has collapsed right here. Look at that. Is that not ominous looking? Literally, and the thing is, it was like. It was just sitting there like that in that little area like that. And how how nice of it, I shouldn't say nice, what are the chances of it collapsing uh, with all that is going on in the world? Okay, why? They said the cable snapped is what they said happened. Um, hello, they said the cable snapped on it. Um, so we're going to we're going to look at these right here. We're going to we're going to look at this um, video right here. Uh, on this, um, let me let me see if I can get this. We're going to listen to it. If I can put it back to the screen, we're going to listen to this. Uh, and I'm not going to talk about the collapsing of this. Uh, so here we are with Angel Vasquez. He's the director of operations, right? Of the Arecibo, Arecibo, Telescope Operations. Of the Arecibo Observatory. And he will be talking about what happened today here. Okay, so at the... Uh, around 7.56 in the morning, uh, we were uh, instructed by the administration to take all the uh, valuable equipment out of the control room area. My office is also adjacent to the control room area. We were in that process when we heard a loud sound, a loud bang outside the control room. When we looked outside the control room, we, uh, we started to see the eventual downfall of the observatory. What happened was from the tower, we know that in August, when the auxiliary uh, cables came off from tower four, the one that's to my left here, and uh, one of the, uh, uh, then we had a main cable at the beginning of November. What happened was those cables during the week, they were, there were strands coming off the remaining three main cables. And so these strands coming up, which means they were giving more, uh, more stress on the remaining cables, eventually it just gave way. So what happened was it came off from that tower and uh, the platform started to come down this way. The azimuth arm got detached from the triangle. It fell onto the dish. If this is the dish here, the tri it didn't fall down. It did not go like this. If what happened was there's because the other two, the other two towers still had tension on the towers. So this came down. It came down the azimuth arm. That arm came down around here, and the rest of it, the cables. Pushed the, pushed the rest of the triangle and it came out to here. So if you see it, you know, it's not that it just, it didn't, it didn't do this because they, they also, the cables did have tension. So it came out to the side and this whole process took 30 seconds and an unfortunate uh, icon in radio astronomy was gone. So um, I'm wondering how did the, the Gregorian dome hit the, 
the effective date? I felt date? It, it when it fell down, it just got squashed. Okay, thank you. And uh, remember, this is a, remember this is a 900 ton uh, structure true. of 500 feet in the air. Mm -hmm. When 900 tons falls, 900 you know 500 feet, you're not gonna. I don't think anything as much as this is left. So, um, what were your 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 talks when you when you saw that uh, happen? So. Um, it's 900 tons and it failed. The cable snapped and it didn't come straight down, they said. Uh, one of the cables snapped and that part of it fell down in there. And then the rest of it, boom, cracked right in half. And, and I know, you know, and a drone caught the footage. Let's, let's look at this. We're going to look at this, what this uh, NPR thing says uh, right here. Uh, the Arecibo Observatory Telescope Collapses, Ending an Era of World-Class Research. World-Class Research. Um, they updated it on the 4th. It has collapsed after weeks of concern from scientists over the fate of what was once the world's largest single-dish radio telescope. Its 900-ton equipment platform suspended from 500 feet above the dish fell overnight. Fell overnight. Did they just say it just fell overnight? It happened at night time. They did. Uh, after the last of its healthy cable supports failed to keep it in place, no injuries were reported, according to the National Science Foundation. Um, it is saddened by this development. As we move forward, we will be looking for ways to assist the scientific community and stay strong uh, in our strong relationship with the people of Puerto Rico. I'm not going to show this because I think this is a YouTube video. Um, it was an uncontrolled collapse because of the failures in the cables that suspended the platform and its huge Gregorian dome above the 1,000 foot wide reflector disc. And the man that we saw, uh, the observatory director of telescope operations, said he was in the central room when the equipment began to plummet to the ground. In an interview by Twitter, he said he and his other staff simmers, members had been in the process of removing the valuable equipment from the facility. So they were told already to remove the valuable equipment from the facility. Uh, they were told. Okay. Did you just hear that? They were told <laughs> to remove the valuable equipment. And then the Big Bang came. And when they looked outside the control room, they started to see the eventual downfall of the observatory. He added that strands of the remaining three cables had been unraveling in recent days, increasing the strain. And because of the support towers maintained tensions as the collapse occurred, some of the following equipment was yanked across the side of the dish rather than falling straight through its focal point. Well, then you can't use the equipment if it was yanked across the dish. Uh, you can't do it. The whole process took 30 seconds. He said it was very unfortunate. An icon in radio astronomy was gone. And he started uh, working there for 43 years. So the massive reflector dish is made up of perforated aluminum panels, leaving an expanse of greenery underneath. But many of those panels have now fallen to the earth. So... Um, they fell to the earth is what happened. Um, a main cable snapped in early. Look at this. Look at this. One of the main cables snapped in early November. Look at that. So the telescope's trademark dish was nestled. It was left with a huge gash in August after a cable fell and slashed one of its through its panels. And then another one snapped. You all, I don't know about this. I really don't know about that. I don't, especially since um, the reason I don't know about it is, um, let me let me just say, is because of, if I can just look over here. I want to look over here. I don't know about it because of, um, Is because of these ships um, that are out there. There's all these ships, and you know that's um, it. Really is unfortunate. I'm trying to get to them. I just shared these um, pictures of these ships last night that are they are surrounding the Earth, 
and I'm sure they would have picked it up or something like that. They can pick up signals, okay? They can. Let me come back to me. Um, let me just shrink that down. So uh, I think I've got a good image of that also uh, that I put in my screenshot so you all can see it actually um, down here crash to the earth if I can get to it. Yeah. So let's look at that. Look at this. Just smashed it right in two, you all. Just like that. Crack. Yeah. You saw a purple planet next to the moon. Yeah, there's something going on, but look at that. So we can look up in this. Look at that great big tower-like monolith thing looking right there. So this is in Puerto Rico. Could you imagine how long it took to build this? That is massive. So um, this looks like... Uh, uh, oh, that's where the cable was supported in these. I guess they observed it from their observatories. But yeah, look, it just you can't use it no more. It is just lay there and it will become a ruin. And over time, I guess the... The forest will grow up in between this. Wow. Right there in the cradle of it. Um, I, I do want to show you some other things uh, that I had on here. I did want to, I had some other articles. Okay. Um, one second. I'm going to, I'm going to get to this. Do you know that there is a, let's go here. There is a science.gov, your gateway to federal science. All kinds of telescopes in here. Uh, look, the, there's a space infrared. So NASA can get the images of the ships that I'm getting. They can. That This is page is full of um, telescopes from all around the world. But I want to show you all this one. This one is pretty neat if we can see this. They have a... Um, they have... Um, a holographic telescope. Look at that. A holographic telescope. <laughs> That's number 367. And NASA. It's all these telescopes and stuff from NASA. Look at that. You know, you can just go through here. Um, they're all from NASA. Uh, we have artificial intelligent and autonomous telescopes. This is a big database full of them. Um, all you have to do is go here and you can see them. Okay, it's 24, only 25 pages, but look at that. You can look at any um, telescope thing you want that's out there that they got the thing on here. Spherical. So they're all up there in orbit. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so look, autonomous a dome for a robotic telescope, all this kind of stuff right here. Uh, it's just mind-boggling, but um, that's okay. Um uh, we can look at this page right here, too. We're going to go right here. This is um, Physics Today. Uh, they showed this picture of this observatory right here. Oopsie. Hurricanes. Well, I don't know what happened right there. Um, look at this. Is This is some of the images uh, that it took, I think. Brief pulse. A brief pulse was detected by uh, Arepico. This was, yeah, so it's it was able to detect deep space. Um that's pretty, um, it's sad. It really is. Look at it, what it look, used to look like right here. Uh, and you can go and you can do the search and you can see these images uh, yourself. Um, look, it can, um, it could, I guess, trace these coming also. So I guess China is the next one. We had to go to look to China. Well, all the other countries have their telescopes too. It's just, uh, oh well. It's not working now. <laughs> it's not. It's it's not working now. Um, oh, yeah, I want to take you here to the uh, Lucifer, the Large Binocular Telescope. Um, yeah, the Large uh, Binocular Telescope right here. It's uh, 10,700. It's located um, on 10,700 feet on Mount Graham. Um it's wide mirrors. Look, when using both 8.4 millimeter or M and 330 inch wide mirrors, which centers on 144 M apart, 
Um, it has the ability at 11.8464.22 wide. Uh, they are joint, individually are the joint, second largest optical telescope uh, in continental North America. The second largest. So um, here's that Lucifer telescope. It's located um, right in Arizona is um, where it's located at. I just want to just give you a little brief thing. And there was a controversy with this Lucifer one. Uh, they, choice, they chose to um, put it on the mountain, which was sacred by the San Carlos Apache tribe. And from the environmentalists who contended the observatory would collapse the demise of an endangered subsea species of the American red squirrel on Mount Graham. Um, so, yeah. So they decided they would put it on <laughs> this sacred mountain uh, this one right here oh yeah there was something that you could look um there was some pictures you could see on here where what mm. and i saw the pictures before i had to shut down my computer before i started because it wouldn't let me um it wouldn't let me turn on my osb let's see if we can um Great. I wanted to see the pictures, but I, I can't see them now for some strange reason. That's not that. Let's see this. Um, the Vatican Observatory Summer School. You can come there and you can go to their summer school. Hmm. I didn't know that. They find the Milky Way's long host sibling. Black holes, gravitational waves, and space-time singularities. Um, hmm, that's just uh, so kind of interesting. So it takes us back right to there with this observatory that had collapsed. Um, right there, you can see it laying, and it, it is rather convenient. Uh, since uh, they have, they talking about the, a planetary system that is coming through. I don't study that. I don't. That's not my topic of study at all. But they say they can see um, some of the planets here. And they say that it has, a, I don't know how many, maybe thousands of miles, if not a million. Their, meet, their tail of this system that's coming has a lot, a great big giant debris tail. Um and according to that ascension uh, thing, on the December 21st, they say that uh, they'll have to move their, the Galactic Federation. I, you know what I did? I had, um, I screenshot with someone said, and I think it's on my laptop over here. I'm going to read you what someone said about the Galactic Federation of Light. Um, oh, what was going to happen on the 21st if you all had not, oh my gosh. Are you all just seeing that? They cut me out. Did they just now? Um, okay, no, they didn't. I thought they cut me off. So I'm supposed to be... Am I, am I live streaming? I'm supposed to be on Just Me. I hope I am. Okay, I'm on Just Me. I wanted to read you all something about the... Uh, if you hadn't heard, there's uh, something going around about the... Um, December 21st. I guess I didn't save it on here. I don't know where I would have saved it at. I think I think I got it now. I'm going to read it to you. Um, okay, we're going to read this. So I'm just going to bring my laptop a little bit closer. I'm going to detach. Actually, I'm going to detach it because I don't want to. Um, okay, let me take this off of here. I'm trying to detach it, but it won't let me take it off. What is up with this? It will not let me detach my, my laptop. So let me do this. I'm going to read you this. Um, no, that wasn't it either, you all. I don't know what's happened. I saved this screenshot, and I wanted to read it to you, and I'm pretty sure I saved it here, but I guess I didn't. I am sorry. But they say this large, they're going to, these Galactic Federation is going to move this large sphere um, in front of the Earth to keep it from getting affected by a... Um, solar flash and they say nibiru belongs to them according to this one thing so i don't know what's going on i really don't and i can't find the articles that i was looking at 
So it doesn't matter now, does it? It doesn't matter at all since I can't find it. So let me just get this back to me. Uh, actually, I'm going to put it back to this collapse right here. This telescope that had collapsed since I can't find the um, thing I wanted to read. It wasn't meant. It was kind of off topic. Uh, so with that being said, I probably am going to go. Um, but I, um, I just wanted to share that with you all in case you hadn't seen uh, what was going on. I didn't know it until my husband mentioned it this morning. He said, I saw something in Puerto Rico about some observatory collapsing. And so I looked at it, and sure enough, there it had it. It had collapsed just like that. Um, you can see it right there. Uh, so with that being said, I probably am going to go. Thank you all for um, coming on here. Um, I know it was kind of early. It's kind of early for me. I didn't even get to do my treadmill walk, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> I am going to do that. So thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful uh, rest of your day. I do.